Hey everyone, it's Rick. How you doing? This is that underpaint that I like to use. Uh, it's burnt umber and yellow ochre mixture. I left a little undone so I can show you how I do it. So, on my palette, I just mix a little burnt umber and yellow ochre. And then I use a wet brush wet brush and water and lightly put it on the canvas you could dab your brush it doesn't have to be like super wet and then just then just fill in the uh, the canvas like this all the way down it shouldn't take you long maybe a couple minutes and then uh, let it let it dry for about five minutes because you don't want to paint on it while it's a little wet. Because it, it'll mix with the paint then. This is the underpaint to get rid of all that white. You know how sometimes you don't... Uh, sometimes some of the white gets left unpainted. And you get these little white specks in your art. And it doesn't, it doesn't look good. So there, we got rid of all the white... So, let's get started. I'm going to do something simple. Let me sketch it in. because it's. I'm going to do another live later on in the evening. But this is just a uh, morning one. What I'm going to do is have some cool... I'm going to try and keep the... The... Uh, horizon low on this one. So... I'll have some cool mountains here. I'll just put in some mountain tops here. Uh, that'll be kind of going off this way. And then I'm going to do something really, have like a, look at all that big sky now we got. So I'll have some foreground in here, and then that way I can run a big tree up here. I'm going to do something different on this painting, so this will be kind of cool. These mountains will be running off in the back there. I'll have uh, distant trees coming across here, maybe down here, and then this foreground. It's going to be easy. So... I'm going to try and make it darker than I usually do. Let's start off with the mountains today. Since I have uh, Payne's Gray out here, I'm just going to use the Payne's Gray uh, right out of the tube. And let's do our peaks and try and we'll get some rugged things going on up there see that I'm like trying to bring it out just a bit bring some other peaks in there with it so it just doesn't look like triangles up there we'll make it more rugged like that just get your tops put in the way you want it and then pull the paint down Keep it small over here. I want it to kind of come around like this. So it looks like it's going off over here. So let's just put some underpaint in on the mountains. This is just the underpaint. I want a dark, dark mountains there. Dark color. Now grab a little white just a little and let's put it in at the bottom here just at the very bottom a little titanium white and then kind of blend it back towards the mountain a little bit it'll create some kind of groundwork down there to lighten it up just a little you can almost see some of the mountains already taking shape. You see that? By the way, I, I 
painted it downwards. I could see a lot of things going on in there. And you can use that to your advantage when you uh, go to design your snow up there or rocks. <coughs> it already looks kind of cool. So down here, I'm going to keep this dark. So I want to use uh, burnt umber down here with a little bit of yellow ochre. So what I'm going to do is just grab some burnt umber here, grab some yellow ochre, and just kind of mix those two together. And let's just block this in with that color. It's a little darker than what I used for the underpaint. Let's just block it in. Wet your brush if you have the flow agent, that's fine. And try and uh, just block this in with the, uh, you can even get darker down here if you want, closer to the front. Just fill this area in with color because I'm going to have trees on here. And it doesn't even have to be perfect. Just block the color in like that. Let's grab a little white now and we'll add some different tones in here maybe. Uh, like right here we'll pull some white across there and maybe back in here and then lightly blend it in there. And you might see some hills starting to take shape in there. You see that? Boom, 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 boom. Just just little hints of things going on in there. By just adding a little white in there. Do a little more down here. Then you can run uh you can run something maybe coming this way. So a little titanium white. And then kind of blend it into the brown. Just like that. It might it might look cool once we're done. Look at all this sky I gotta work with. Normally I start my mountains way up here and what so I have less sky, but today I'm gonna run a big huge tree up in here. I actually made my own green today. I used uh because uh, I bought this blue I really don't like it. It's Dale Kynanen blue, a green shade. So I'm going to use this blue to make my own green. So I just mix some of that blue with uh, yellow. Got this kind of green here. It looks pretty cool. But this one I, I put yellow and black in it for the trees. So I'm going to put some uh, green grass down here. On this hill for now. This is going to be our lookout. Uh, where you stand and you're looking down in the valley there. Okay. We'll just put some green grass right here. Just like that. You're standing here looking down in the valley. That's what the whole thing's going to be. So I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to grab a big fan brush, a number eight. This is an oil fan brush. I'm going to put a big tree up here right now because we're going to paint around the tree in the sky, kind of like a tonalism. Remember when I was doing oil paint, we did some tonalism painting. We're going to try it with uh, this painting. I'll have to put the... Uh, the snow on the mountain around the tree as well. Let's put a big tree in here real quick. I want to see what this green's going to look like. It's not really black. It's 
just a dark green. Let's see what it looks like. I'm going to make the tree pretty straight. I don't want it leaning. I want it straight. And I'm going to try and... I think I'm going to make a different type of tree today. Uh... Let me come down first, right in the middle. It's just going to be a skinny, long, big tree. I'm going to come down right in the middle and just stamp the color in down the trunk. I'm not worried about getting too wide yet. I'm going to maybe adjust it when I'm done coming down. Just let the brush make the branches. like that one big tree there I kind of like the way it looks on that brown it looks kind of cool let me put another one in here and then I'll adjust the branches to the way I want them I'm gonna make it a little smaller and maybe have it come down down the hill a little bit so this way use the corner stay right in the middle of the trunk and just lightly touch the canvas with the brush and let the uh, let the tree come out naturally I'm just coming straight down the trunk I'm getting a little wider at the bottom but I'm gonna I'm going to adjust it here in a little bit. It looks pretty cool. Let me wet my brush and uh, let's do another one right here. Maybe coming down just a little angle there. Just let the, the brush bring the uh, branches out. I almost went back to the way I usually make it. Cool. All right, now I'm going to try and adjust these branches a little bit. Uh, I'm going to bring this one out just a little here on the side. Fill this one in a little. Fill this one in on the side. It's a cool, it's a weird different a different kind of green. I'm going to make some bushes over here. Put some shadow underneath here. There we go. Little shadow there. It's pretty cool looking. It is dark. I kind of like it being dark like that. Uh, I'm going to let it dry a little bit before I highlight it. I could highlight it right now and kind of get it to mix with the, the color. Because I used a lot of water. And I could tell it's really wet. I'm going to use white up here on the mountain, but I'm going to put a little gray in it. 
for the snow because I don't want it like super bright white. I'm putting a little gray, Payne's gray, in the white. And I'm going to make the snow very small. So it, it, the mountains look far away. So I'm going to get, get it to break a little more. Without having like big chunks of snow up there like that. Just let it to the blade. Put little spots up there. And the way you do that, you put less paint. Put a very small roll on your uh, blade. And just barely let it glide across the paint. And you'll get these small little uh, pockets of paint coming off, okay? Paint around the trees, but that's all right. Look at that. I'm going to leave the, the mountains dark because... Uh, that's what I wanted today because when I go to uh, put my uh, varnish on here this color is going to look really cool and maybe the, the trees will look cool with the, the varnish. I'm going to lighten up some of this green with white and put some trees back here now. This is the original dark green that I used. I wish I would have had a little more black in it, but that's all right. So I'm going to take some of that dark color and grab a little white. It's going to turn it like a grayish green. And I'm going to use that for the distant trees along the bottom of the mountain. I'm going to use a uh, Ferenzi number 10. It's like almost like a bristle brush. And I can just pop in some cool trees back there by pressing into the canvas. Almost like a bristle brush. Just stamp your brush in the color. And the way I want these to go... I'll follow this little white line that I put here, thinking, because there's really no hills in here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of come down at an angle with some distant trees here. Just like that. Now... Take your brush and pull the bottom to the left. I'm going to put some uh, different color underneath those trees. Let's do some way in the back there. A little smaller though. I should get a smaller brush for that. But I think I can do it with this brush. We'll just have some distant trees way back here that are a little smaller they don't have to be perfect just uh, a hint of trees back there it's a cool color it's like a weird, it's like a bluish green, it looks like. 
All right, now I'm going to darken up the color just a little. And uh, I'll put a big, a big tree down here at the bottom. Coming in off the side here. That'll work. Let me get a smaller brush. I'm going to try some yellow ochre back here underneath those trees. Yellow ochre. good it's like getting a little green there i like that getting a little green in there all right that's the scene look at how easy that was it only took 20 22 minutes i think the hard part's gonna be the sky because look how much uh sky i gotta deal with now man i don't know I don't know if I can do it. Crazy. Maybe I'll leave it uh leave it brown and just put some clouds up there. We'll see what happens. I might we'll see. Let's see uh I'll finish up the trees real quick, then I'll worry about the sky. So I already have the, the color that I want for highlighting right here that we used on those trees. It's a little wet. Let me start over. I'll try a fan brush to highlight it. All right, I'm going to do this big one first. I think I like it. It's almost got a it's got a bluish tint to it. It looks really cool. I don't know if you could see that in the camera, but it's it's more bluish than green. But it's really making the trees look kind of cool. Like they're glowing or something. You see that? Doesn't that look cool? I'm going to use that color for the, the bushes here. Might as well. It's 
like the bluish green. Look at that color. It's kind of cool. All right, I'm going to leave it. Kind of like it. So far, I like the color choice. This, uh, I use paint gray, paints gray on these mountains. But you can see what's happening. The, the undertone is getting into the paint. It's almost making them look brown. I don't know if you see that. But that's actually gray. Paint's gray, but it looks like it's they're turning brown, the mountains. Looks pretty good. I don't know what to do in the sky. Uh, I like. I mean, I like the way it looks right now, but we gotta put something up there. Uh, it's gonna have to be dark. I got some blue that I mixed already. Uh, Prussian blue. What I did, I mixed Prussian blue and some violet and some white. Got this bluish color. I think I'm going to try and put it in this uh, a little Payne's gray in it. And just make a dark sky up there, like a dark grayish blue. I don't know if that's... I put it on really... Uh... I'll put it on really light at first and see what it looks like. Like a wash. I think it's going to be all right. Hmm.
think I'm just going to paint around the trees and leave some of the, the, the underpaint around the mountains. That'll just be the, the style of this painting. <clears throat> I was messing around with some clouds uh, yesterday and uh, I got some clouds to look really cool, like starting way here in the corner and like going down like this from the corners in down to the middle. And it looked like the clouds were like going back. And it looked pretty cool. I'll have to do that on a painting. Looks like I'm going to have to uh, cover everything now because uh, I just went in between the trees. But I mean, it's kind of like tonalism, but I mean, it's acrylic paint. Everything's already dry, you know. Looks pretty cool. Not what I was envisioning, but it is what it is because I put the trees up first, so so it is I just got to deal with it. Still looks good. I like uh, I like the dark sky. I really do. Alright, 
I don't want to bore you with that anymore. I'll have to work it till I get it the way I like it. But I kind of like the way this came out so far. If you don't want to have to deal with uh, what I'm going through right now, just do your sky first and then put the trees up like normal. I just wanted to try something a little different. You could take your time if you wanted to and really get, you know, close to your trees, but I know you don't want to watch me do that, but that's how you'd have to do it. Then you could always, if you uh, go over your tree a little bit, you can go back and uh, adjust your tree. That's all. What I'll probably do, I'm going to start putting different colors in here now to uh, get a really cool sky with like a lot of uh, maybe different blues and stuff. And just keep layering it up and uh, with different dark colors. Maybe throw a, throw a few white clouds on at the end, but that's looking pretty good. Except for around the trees here. <laughs> but so let's see what else I need down here. So that's what I'll have to keep working the sky. That's all right. I kind of like the mountains. Uh, this is a this green here is kind of weird. So what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try a different green on this tree in the front here. Maybe it'll, not sure I should. Got some white on there for some reason. don't like this uh, green color. There we go. That looks a little better. Yeah. Just wanted to knock that color down a bit. I just put a lighter green on it. All right. This is looking good. I'm going to make this really bright so the shadow stands out a little more. So I'm going to 
wash it with uh, some yellow. Just this area here in the light. Just like that. Gotta, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try something real quick. A smaller version of putting uh, clouds around the mountain, right behind the mountain. might work yeah I like that like I said guys I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to work this sky a little more and uh, when I finish it, I'll put it on the community page, but that's about all I'm going to do on this. I'm going to do a painting later on tonight. Uh, I was just experimenting on this one. We put some more, I'm going to put a little dark color down here for more shadow see if that makes it look any better Can't hurt. Some shadow in there. Wow, I think I'm going to like those clouds. Maybe I can work some regular clouds up in here. Like, fill the whole sky up with rolling clouds. I think it might look good.
I do have some of this uh, original grain I use up here. work those branches that I covered. I think it's going to end up looking good. I'll, what I'll have to do is get a, a smaller brush in here around the trees. It'll, it'll turn out okay. That's all I'm going to do on this one. I'm glad you got to see this one. I don't know if I'm going to keep it on, but something different. Clouds, wow, the clouds are looking really cool. Look at uh, how they're like, look like they're rolling up around the, the mountains there, doesn't it? Wow. I just started doing that uh, last week with those clouds uh, coming up over the mountain like that. Doesn't that look cool? I think uh, I think once I get done, this one will be good. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change this down here start all over down here because this doesn't look good down here the rest of it looks good uh, so I'll probably paint this valley back in brown and redo it differently but it should look all about I'm gonna leave these the way they are and just put more clouds up in the sky some of those white clouds <laughs> hey Peggy I see your uh, messages now I keep forgetting to check oh you sent me a text alright I'll uh, check it out or was it an email I'll check All right, I'm going to end this video, and uh, I'll keep working on this one. But uh, I like what's going on. All right, we'll see. I'll check my text, Peggy. All right. Happy New Year. We'll see you. Uh, oh, this is the text. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I wish it would stay on while I was painting, you know. It doesn't stay on the uh, my page. My email's in my name up there. It says paint with Rick at Gmail. Paint with Rick at Gmail's or the email at yeah Gmail. All right, cheers, happy New Year.